Good morning and welcome back everybody to the morning announcements. My name is Ali Abdul Seder and today is Friday, March 11th, 2022. Pre-PSAT, SAT, math practices are after school in room A221 with Mrs. Baez on Tuesday and Wednesday from 2.50 to 3.50 p.m. Students, the deadline to nominate a teacher for the Alberta Muirhead Teacher of the Year Award is today. So take a moment and recognize a teacher who has had a lasting impact on you. The class of 2022 is hosting a senior bowling night next Friday, March 18th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Ford Lanes. Tickets are only $20 and you can buy them to reserve your spot from any class of 2022 student council members. Now on to read for sports. Spring sports will begin on Monday. Uh, you need a physical to participate. Uh, but if, but if you already have a physical from the winter, then you won't need uh, another one for the spring. Um, uh, chariots will be as followed. Baseball will be at 2.30 at the main gym. Trek will be at 2.50 at the main gym also. Tennis will be at the main stairs. Uh, golf will be at 3 o'clock main gym. Soccer will be 3 o'clock uh, at the field. And softball will begin Tuesday at 2.20 at the main gym. I'm Raid with sports, now back to Ali. Thank you Raid, now back to the morning announcements. The executive board will be holding a competition between Mrs. Altamonte, Mrs. Hamoud, and Mr. Osman to raise money for the Michigan Foster Care Closet. The teacher that raises the least amount of money will have to wear a cat in the hat costume. Fundraising will happen during all three lunches. The money is being raised to buy clothes for foster children. Please donate if you can. In light of the current economic crisis in Lebanon, a relief fundraiser is being organized by forts and students. Their goal is to help fight against the hunger that the country is facing and any small donations will make a big impact. Donations can be made through the GoFundMe, which you can find by scanning the QR code on the screen. The Joyful Heart Foundation is continuing their March book drive this year. All donated books will be given to local foster children. Donations are being accepted until March 25th. If your teacher doesn't have a box in their room for books, see Mrs. Baez in room A221. Please make sure that the books are either new or gently used. Also, the Environmental Club is looking for new members. They meet on Friday in room A118. Attention all students parking off Ford Road and Nickel. That parking lot is for staff and senior students that have a pass only. Starting this week, warning stickers will be placed on cars that are parking in the lot without a parking pass. Following a warning, you will be ticketed if you continue to park in a paid senior spot that does not belong to you. If you have any stories or events that you would like covered or promoted, please see Dr. K in room A100 or send her an email. And now for a video put together by Mrs. Hamoud, Ms. Baez, Mr. Sabra, and Ms. Zahraldin, who organized a focus group of students who would like to discuss some lifelong skills that will help lead a successful academic and social life. With that being said, see you next time. Good morning, guys. I'm here with Esma, Hiba, and Muhammad to discuss respect. Because how would you describe respect? I would describe respect as a daily act of kindness. No matter what uh, time of the day it is, it just makes others feel different than what they were from before. Respect is being polite to someone and giving proper greetings whenever you see them. Respect is when you feel welcome and give someone welcomeness. Okay, what does it feel like to be respected? Uh, to be respected is like you feel acknowledged, like mm -hmm. in a way that people know you're there. It feels great to be respected. Respected, uh, it feels great to be respected, but when you walk in and see a bright smile every morning, that's, that's a good one. Okay, how does it feel to be disrespected? Unwelcome. It makes you feel like you don't matter. It's, it makes feel, you know, someone feel down or bring someone down. Okay, so what role do you feel like respect plays with your relationship with your friends, your family, your educators? Uh, it creates a better community. It strengthens your relationships. Mm -hmm. It builds a strong bond in school and classroom. Okay, so final question is how important is respect in our lives, whether it be in school or in our lives in general? In general, respect is very important because you would miss out on the little things that would make you happy and others as well. It reflects your personality. It shows who you are as a person. Okay, thank you guys. That was a discussion about respect. Next week we'll be talking about trust. Thank you so much. Hello, Fordson. 
We are excited to announce our first in-person live concert in over two years. The students and the teachers are very excited to share all of our hard work with you. Our spring concert began to together the Fortin Choir Band and Orchestra. Join us on Thursday, March 17th, that's next Thursday, at 7 p.m. right here in the Fortson Auditorium. Tickets are free. Totally free. We, we hope, hope to see you in the audience. audience.